I'm new to this whole vlogging thing. I'm really putting this out more for other actors wanting to make the big jump to LA and they don't know what to expect because I sure didn't know what to expect. I've been here for a year and a half, uh, more or less moved from Texas. I think a good like 80% of an actor's life in Los Angeles is spent sitting in traffic. It wasn't overwhelming for me at all, but I've also lived in New York City and Houston and the jump to LA wasn't a huge shock. I guess I'm hoping that this vlog reaches other people like me. Give you guys a peek at the auditioning process. I would love to give you a peek at the filming process because that means that I have a job. I've booked a few things. I've booked short films, music videos, two commercials, which is awesome. Both were paying, which is really awesome. I've done a bunch of extra work, which, oh my god. I feel like the only people who are happy doing extra work are people that have no aspirations whatsoever to act in real life. Basically, you're sitting there for 14 hours while you watch everybody who has the job you really want to have uh, do, do your job. That's extra work. I'm on my way to an open call, which is a little bit daunting as far as an audition goes. There are 23 roles for which they're holding auditions. I think I'm gonna probably struggle a little bit at this one. I have no idea what they're gonna want me to read for, so I feel like I'm not gonna be very prepared because I don't know what to prepare. I think the key for these types of auditions is just stay relaxed, you know, emotionally present, mentally present, stay excited, and have something going on inside when you walk in the door. So, I just arrived and there's already people Doing their actor thing. Look at that guy, he's do doing his thing. Trying to memorize shit. Fuck. I actually just came right back out to my car. It is exactly like I thought it was gonna be. There are like 20 people in there, and it's this tiny little hallway. I'm gonna work on this. It looks like comedy, so that's my strong side. I'm pretty excited about that. And we'll see if they like what I have to offer. He stopped me in the middle of the audition and was like, fantastic, we'll see you tomorrow, because tomorrow is when we're doing scheduling and everything for the production. It was actually a really fun little piece. I'm so excited to be back on a live theater stage again. I'm starving, because this, uh, this 30 minute time slot turned into almost two hours. <laughs> but that's cool, because I got the part, yay, yay! Okay, bye guys. So I'm home, hanging out working on stuff for more submissions. Uh, I do that, like I said, every day. So that's what I did. Came home, chilled, got some kind of bad news from back home, which I haven't really processed it yet. I actually got two really bad newses from back home. I don't really know what to say about that. I'm making tuna melts um, because having a really good day and then having a really bad day like happen right after it's just like I feel like I'm on a little bit of a roller coaster so um, hopefully things will be fine and the bad news doesn't stick around for too long so uh, I will check in with you guys later what's up guys it is Friday which is awesome because it's a freaking weekend probably not gonna have much of a life this weekend off book by Sunday I have rehearsal Sunday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the show goes up Friday, Saturday, and we close Sunday. So we have less than a week of prep, which is kind of exhilarating and fun and scary all rolled into one. I've done a few of these, um, not at this theater company, but I have done this style of theater before, and it's actually a lot of fun because you kind of take risks. Say you've been rehearsing for a show for like eight weeks, right? and then you have another eight weeks of performances. Well, a lot of the time, you take like the first three weeks or so to really kind of ramp up and get the courage, self-confidence slash like stupidity, to really take the risks that bring the most out of you as an actor. It can be a double-edged sword because obviously if you're not good with memorization, you can't really start to play until you're off book with, with anything, film, television, commercials, Whatever. So, this is my script. It's kind of freaking big. I have like 36 hours to have this memorized. Scott and I are on our way to the dunes. We need to get a workout. We got our breakfast burritos that I made this morning. They're awesome. They're soy riso from Trader Joe's and egg and other delicious things. So we're super fueled up and we're gonna go and it's gonna be awesome. He's a beast. I'm lazy. <laughs> Oh, this is 
is my second run on the dunes. Um, we've, this is like my second round. This is a big hill, y'all. Like, it doesn't look that big from the bottom, but you think you're halfway up, you turn around, and you've made it like 20 feet. It's ridiculous. View is pretty sweet. See you at the bottom. So we are at El Matador Beach, and I went to try and go swimming, and it's one, really fucking cold, and two, there are a ton of rocks that you can't see. So I was just trying to wade like casually out into the water, like no big deal. The wave came out, I got stuck on a rock and then like face planted into the water as the next wave came over. And of course I stood up and titties everywhere, like everybody at the beach got a show. I don't know, could you see it? Could you see my nipples? I okay, because they nipples. both came out full force. I missed it, can you do it again? The ladies, no. So that's it for me. Uh, that's my first video. It's kind of choppy. I still don't really have the hang of editing. I've never vlogged before, so bear with me. <laughs> I hope that it gets better. I want you guys to get something out of it, and I want your suggestions for videos you want me to make. I had a few friends, um, not on YouTube. I don't have any YouTube friends yet. Be my friend! Um, <laughs> I have friends in real life who have often kind of asked me how I develop my mutant superpower of memorization because it's kind of ridiculous. I made two videos today. I made this one that you guys just saw and I actually made a video of me uh, memorizing that entire script that you saw me hold up. I um, made a video of how I did that and gonna put those up kind of back to back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna piggyback that one onto this one pretty much right away. Normally I'm going to shoot for like one video a week on a Sunday. The content kind of dictates I'm happy to ramp that up because it's fun to make these and I love helping people. So comments, suggestions, criticisms, be nice, don't have to be a dick about it. And help with tech stuff. That That's the big one. That's, I know that video was pretty rough. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. <laughs>